Life in the UK Test. Chapter 3, Section 2, Part 1. Disclaimer. This work is independent and non-official. It is a free help based on life in the United Kingdom, a guide for new residents third edition handbook. December 2015. Chapter 3 Section 2 Part 1. The Middle Ages. War at Home and Abroad. The Black Death. The War of the Roses, War at Home and Abroad. The period after the Norman Conquest, up until about 1485 is called the Middle Ages, or the Medieval Period. It was a time of almost constant war. The English kings fought with the Welsh, Scottish and Irish noblemen, for control of their lands. In Wales, the English were able to establish their rule. In 1284 King Edward I of England introduced the Statute of Rudderland, which annexed Wales to the Crown of England. Huge castles, including Canwy and Carnarfon, were built to maintain this power. By the middle of the 15th century the last, Welsh rebellions had been defeated. English laws and the English language were introduced. In Scotland, the English kings were less successful. In 1314 the Scottish, led by Robert the Bruce, defeated the English. At the Battle of Bannockburn, and Scotland remained unconquered by the English. At the beginning of the Middle Ages, Ireland was an independent country. The English first went to Ireland as troops to help the Irish king, and remained to build their own settlements. By 1200, the English ruled an area of Ireland known as the Pale, around Dublin. Some of the important lords, in other parts of Ireland, accepted the authority of the English king. During the Middle Ages, the English kings also fought a number of wars abroad. Many knights took part in the Crusades, in which European Christians fought for control of the Holy Land. English kings also fought a long war with France, called the Hundred Years' War, even though it actually lasted 116 years. One of the most famous battles of the Hundred Years' War was the Battle of Agincourt in 1415, where King Henry V's vastly outnumbered English army defeated the French. The English left France in the 1450s. The Black Death. The Normans used a system of land ownership known as feudalism. The king gave land to his lords in return for help in war. Landowners had to send certain numbers of men to serve in the army. Some peasants hid their own land but most were serfs. They had a small area of their lord's land where they could grow food. In return, they had to work for their lord and could not move away. The same system developed in southern Scotland. In the north of Scotland and Ireland, land was owned by members of the clans, prominent families, in 1348. A disease, probably a form of plague, came to Britain. This was known as the Black Death. One third of the population of England died, and a similar proportion in Scotland and Wales. This was one of the worst disasters ever to strike Britain. Following the Black Death, the smaller population meant there was less need to grow cereal crops, there were labour shortages, and peasants began to demand higher wages. New social classes appeared, including owners of large areas of land, later called the gentry, and people left the countryside to live in the towns. In the towns, growing wealth led to the development of a strong middle class. In Ireland, the Black Death killed many in the Pale and, for a time, the area controlled by the English became smaller. The War of the Roses. In 1455, a civil war, was begun to decide who should be king of England. It was fought between the supporters of two families, the House of Lancaster and the House of York. This war was called the Wars of the Roses, because the symbol of Lancaster was a red rose and the symbol of York was a white rose. The war ended with the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485. King Richard III of the House of York was killed in the battle, and Henry Tudor, 
the leader of the House of Lancaster, became King Henry VII. Henry then married King Richard's niece, Elizabeth of York, and unite two families. Henry was the first king of the House of Tudor. The symbol of the House of Tudor was a red rose with a white rose inside it, as a sign that the houses of York and Lancaster were now allies. Study Materials All chapters from the study materials are crown copyright and have been based on life in the United Kingdom. A Guide for New Residents 3rd Edition Handbook all photos are borrowed from wikipedia.org under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported. This work is independent and non-official, prepared in December 2015.